Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Here I am, uh, sitting at the wife's craft table once again here in Sudbury, Ontario. It's Pukla Duck. I have another box here. I believe this is box number six of the 21-22 hockey, Upper Deck Hockey Extended Series. I'm still chasing some of these big cards. I'd like to find a better trilogy. A uh, decent clear cut would be nice. Uh, a nice quad black diamond uh, would be complete icing on the cake. Um, <clears throat> like I said, uh, living up here in Sudbury, I just want to highlight that uh, Sudbury is uh, home, like the hometown of a big time hockey celebrity out there. I have not sure where he is now, but his name's uh, Jason Maslikow, uh, otherwise known as Dart Guy. Back in 2017, wow, that's five years ago now, uh, Toronto was playing Washington in a heated game down there, and it was in the uh, dying seconds, heading in overtime. The camera pans across this guy with his face painted, his beard dyed, and he was in all Leafs regalia just completely anticipating a Leafs win and there he was hanging there with a cigarette just hanging right out of his right out of his lips and uh, uh, everybody just uh, thought that was the greatest thing he became a sensation there for a while and uh, I don't know the legend of Dark Guy was born and uh, he just happens to be one of our Sudbury heroes and before we crack into this box, I just want to tell everybody to hit the like button, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications of any new videos that do pop up, and uh, I encourage everyone leave a comment, uh, tell me what you think, or tell me what you're chasing. Uh, like uh, just uh, any exchange of ideas would be greatly appreciated, and uh, we'll definitely. We'll definitely enjoy that around this household. Seeing your thoughts and comments. And... I don't know, it's just... Uh, just make uh, having this channel and doing these videos uh, that much more fun. I, uh, I watch other breakers, I watch their videos, uh, I always try to leave a comment uh, and uh, let them know what, what my thoughts are or what, what cards I'm looking for and I don't know, in this case I'm still searching for the young guns of Dursey, Jarvis, uh, Turcott, even though uh, one of the hits from the last video was a uh, Sean Turcott young guns tribute retro. Not too bad, a little banged up at the top. Uh, that's all upper deck, I, I don't think I had anything to do with that. Then we had a holographics of Jeremy Swayman. I thought that was a nice card. Along with Seth Jarvis, my first, first Seth Jarvis card uh, that I ever came across in any of these boxes so far. We have a single diamond rookie gem of Willie and Eklund. Uh, like I said in past videos, I've I'm really high on William Eklund, uh, hopefully uh, he just uh, starts producing as a regular NHLer. And I came across a my first trilogy, uh, could have been a better name, but uh, they do exist guys, uh, I was questioning that, uh, or I thought the trilogies were going to be extremely rare and I wasn't going to come across one in any of my boxes. And the last nice card there was the Trevor Zegris SPX Finite. Got that in the top loader. And, uh, I don't know, let's get into this. Pack number one. Looks like a young gun right away. And Akira Schmid. Got to toss that in the double pile. Really coming across these young guns uh, repetitively. So 
Ooh. We got a French variant of Jason Dickinson. Nothing to write home about. Freddie Anderson. We got something behind Freddie. I think it's our SPX. It's a right winger. Andre Svechnikov. I think that's the first insert I've got of anything Sve Svechnikov. Really like this player. It's really showing some promise on that high octane Carolina Hurricanes team. Another young guy I'm still missing in the collection. Searching high and low for one of those. Fox. And we have a canvas of Zach Hyman. Oilers fans are big on Hyman. They're happy to have him. Coming across another young gun here. Looks like Alex Steves. Toronto prospect. Played three seasons at Notre Dame. Did quite well there. Not too shabby. Ooh, got a backwards upside down card there. Maybe that means the pack will be some sort of hit. Or maybe not. We have got a Young Guns 0607 tribute of Alexander Holtz. Hit many Holtz so far along the way in these boxes. Ooh, we have an 0607 retro tribute of Thomas Hurdle. Retro tributes seem to be bunched up, so chances are there's another one in this pack. And I was correct, Nick Suzuki. Such a shame seeing these guys playing in a game with no fans in the background. It's nice to see fans back in the arenas. And we have a Rasmus Dahlin. Little side action card there. Former number one pick. Very solid defenseman. He'll be getting some help there with Owen Power in Buffalo next season. And we have. And exclusives. I don't think I ran into ex any exclusives, but we have Sam Carrick here. Number 100 out of 100. I believe I was watching one of the channels and uh, I forget who it was, but uh, they're a real big Sam Carrick fan. Uh, if somebody wants to throw it out in the comments of who that is, uh, I'd have no problem sending that out to him.
Coming across a young gun, and it looks like Scott Peronovich. He was in my second tier. He spent uh, three years in university. That's why it took him a little longer to uh, get to the league. He's heard he's a pretty solid defensive prospect there for the St. Louis Blues. And definitely a card that I needed for the list. So. Not too bad. Oh, looks like we got a pink Dazzlers, and it's going to be a Bo Horvat. I think that's the first pink Dazzlers that I've uh, cracked open out of these boxes in extended series. I was lucky enough to get a few in the uh, series one and a few in the series two. Of a Sidney Crosby or, or in a Kirill Kaprizov. Good looking cards. Osak Graves. Borchek. And speaking of Kaprizov, got his SPX Finite, number 2085 out of $29.99. Not a bad one to get either. Another young gun, and it's Fabian Zetterlin. Played in the AHL last year. Okay numbers. He's probably just getting his feet wet there. First holographics. It's of Alex Turcott. Getting all sorts of Turcott now. A lot of variations of his inserts. Still looking for the regular young guns. That's eluded me this whole time. And we're getting another Dazzlers. Here we are of Timo Meyer. I'm big on Timo too. He's uh, had a nice start to his career. A few years in now and uh, he produces very well. He's part of the... He's still in San Jose during the rebuild. So I bet you they'll be looking to him for some leadership and uh, some on-ice presence, locker room presence. And we have a young gun of Zachary Sachenko. Another young gun that I was still yet to get. So not bad. I believe uh, all, all young guns that I've gotten in this box, so, well, other than the Akira Schmid, uh, were new to me. Not a double, not one was a double except that Schmid. And we have a Dawson Mercer Holographics, the regular one. We got a Rookie Gems. See how many diamonds we have on this one. It'll be a double diamond, rookie gems of Cole Sillinger. Probably the hit of the box. I'm high on young Cole Sillinger. He had a great season uh, last year. Looks like he's going to get some top line action with them coming up. Maybe partner him up with uh, Johnny Goudreau. Uh, will definitely help start padding his stats there, playing with a guy like Goudreau. Yeah, 
And a young gun of Adam Beckman. Another guy. That I can check off the list. Needed him. Four more packs to go. Oh, it looks like we got our first mascot card. It's a canvas of Al the Octopus from the Detroit Red Wings. Looking a little mean there. Let's see if we get a close up here. Good looking card. First mascot card. Let's get three of those in a case, I believe. So chances are we can still come across a couple others. Be nice to get that gritty. Or Carlton the Bear for the Toronto Maple Leafs. We got another black time, and it doesn't look like it's going to be. A rookie gem, but it is of Jake Gensel. Two packs to go. Looking for actually oh, looking for a canvas. And I can't quite put my finger on the last card that could it would it possibly be another canvas there's Chandler Stevenson looks like he's giving away a stick there Maybe a mystery pack. <clears throat> and it's going to be another canvas. Chris Kreider. Looks pretty happy there. Might have a hat trick puck in his hand. Seemed to have a few of those last season. Good for Chris Kreider. Well, that's the end of the box. Uh, the, the hit would definitely be the double diamond of Cole Sillinger. Um, Alexander Holtz, the uh, retro young guns, probably be the highlights. But, uh, oh, and Al the Octopus, definitely uh, you'll see him in the highlight reel uh, in my next video. But uh, <clears throat> that's it for now. Not a bad box. And uh, look forward to uh, getting plenty more. So uh, hopefully to see you back on the channel. Thanks for taking this time out. And uh, enjoy yourself a great evening. Take care. Bye-bye.